you receive these uh, commendations for your research. Mm -hmm. And it was in what, what discipline again? So I, I received two early career awards, and the early career awards were from the American Psychological Association, Division 33, Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. And the second award was from the American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. One was a research award, and one was a professional award that encompassed research training service, clinical services. Hmm. And what was it? that it made it so attractive that this happened. Do you want me to toot my own horn? Sure. sure. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, my work focuses on developing interventions for families who have children who are at risk for school difficulties. So I've focused primarily on young children with developmental disabilities. And what I've aimed to do in my research is integrate both clinical aspects of support and intervention for families with rigorous evaluation of the efficacy of the interventions. So something that I'm passionate about is the integration of both service. I'm a psychologist. I want to help kids and families with the research evaluation of the efficacy of the interventions. Uh, the research you've done. Does it set anyone up? Does it open new avenues? Whatever. Well, I'm hoping that I can build on my previous successes, both in terms of the awards I've received and the recognition that it brings to the importance of the work I do, but it's also a way for me to recruit students into my own program of research, um, to work alongside other disciplines, so my work is quite interdisciplinary. I hope to continue to build on these successes and really think outside of the box and take it to the next level in terms of the interventions that we develop and ways in which we investigate and evaluate the intervention services. Because if it doesn't work for kids and families, I don't want to do it anymore. So we constantly need to reevaluate our interventions and our treatments. So what will your emphasis be then? Research, teaching, uh, clinical intervention, what? If I have to pick, this, no, is, this is not fair. Well, that's why I'm in higher education, because I get to do the research that I love, and I can incorporate my background in clinical interventions and clinical training. I'm a licensed psychologist, and the beauty of it is I can work with students both in the classroom and alongside in my own research laboratory, and I can combine all three. So I don't see these as separate activities. They're really integrated in what I do as an academic. Yeah. What have you seen working with autism now? What have you seen in terms of ancillary clinical programs mm -hmm. that would be most useful and helpful? Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of ancillary clinical programs for autism, I see a number of disciplines working together to support this population. First of all, we don't know what causes autism. So folks engaging in basic research at the molecular level, at the genetic level, is crucial. In terms of the helping professions and the College of Education, I see special education, school psychology, speech language, audiology, um, general education, uh, psychology, human services, counseling psychology, you name it. There are so many needs for supporting the individual child and his or her educational needs and support needs and the family. So I really see multiple disciplines involved in not only the identification but the interventions and educational support.